What's up everybody? We're going to talk about how to set the proper budget for your marketing when it comes to digital marketing. I think this is going to be great. I get this question all the time, so I think you're going to really like the answer to it. What's up everybody? My name is Brandon Brashears and this is the Digital Marketing Madman channel. I do daily marketing videos, so if you're trying to improve your digital marketing online, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Um, you'll hopefully get a ton of good info and I talk also about building my digital marketing agency. All right, so how do you set the proper budget for your digital marketing? I get this question all the time um, and it's, it's a great question and I think that it's actually a really personal answer. So I'm gonna kind of give you some frameworks to think about. So the first and most blatantly obvious question here is what is something that you can afford? And really kind of setting into that guideline. What is what is something that you're actually going to be able to afford? Now, depending on what your product or service is, is going to determine kind of the length of the funnel that you're going to be doing. So for example, if you have a service business, there's probably people searching for your service right now on AdWords. And depending on what you do and things, it may be a great opportunity for you to go out and find people who are searching and ready to make that buying decision right now. A lot of times though, if you do like real estate or loans with Google AdWords, it's very, very competitive and it's difficult. So cost per clicks are extremely high and you're competing with people like Quicken Loans and you know other huge players that have large marketing budgets and marketing companies that are actively trying to optimize and kind of d dominate the industry. And so if you're a small loan officer or small real estate agent, it's tough because you're competing with these huge titans in the industry. So that being said, what is it that you can actually afford and that you're going to be okay with? And I would typically go as much as possible just because I'm a digital marketer. So I see that digital ads create return on investment and they typically create great return on investment. So as much as possible is always my favorite answer. But what ultimately, if you lost that money, it wouldn't ruin you. Um, a lot of times, the, the brands and the companies that I work with, they have an offer that's proven and they know is going to work and they know the audience wants. But if you've never run ads and offers, it's going to take some time. So having that set budget. So if you say I have a thousand bucks to run for this ad campaign, I'm going to really want to start out kind of slow with this, especially if you don't have an offer that's proven. So we'll create ads and landing pages and things and then we'll use 20% of that budget to do some testing. And we'll find out which kind of segments are the best for, for this test. Now, depending on your cost per clicks or you know what we can be doing, we're gonna have to be really careful with that budget. And um, a lot of times it may not make sense to do, like I was talking about the AdWords, so we'll do a different strategy like on Facebook or Instagram or wherever you're gonna be running your social media campaigns or your paid traffic. So we'll do 20% of that to test. And then we'll use the next 20% once we find different segments that work and we're like, hey, this is interesting, this is working. We'll use the next 20% to confirm that test. And so we'll cut all the fat off and just run for those specific kind of events and the conversions that we're looking for. And then we'll confirm that test. And then once we've confirmed that test, we use the last bit to really put the gas down and hopefully scale and create a lot more leads based on the data that we've collected and understanding now what works, what's a good offer and what we should be doing. So in general, I think that most businesses should do as much as they possibly can. Um, it uh, totally depends on what your margins are, what you can afford to pay, but figure out what it is that you can afford to pay and something and start slow. If you start out just wasting all of your money trying to figure out in the testing phase, you're going to get results faster as far as understanding what test is working or what isn't. But if you don't get lucky and hit the jackpot on the first try, you're going to be out of money and you're going to be bummed. And then you're going to be in the group of people who says, oh, I've tried Facebook ads. They don't work. So if you've ever said that, that's probably what happened is you went out and you spent a hundred bucks in a day and you're like, oh, this didn't get anything. So make sure that you're actually testing then once you're testing, confirm that test and then scale. Those are kind of the three things that I like to do. So people will ask like, well, is there a certain percentage that I should be spending? And I get this question all the time. What percentage of revenue should I spend? I'm not a CPA. I don't know. I just say as much as possible. Um, some people say 3% of gross revenue. I totally think it depends on your business model and the margins that you have. 
But in 2019 and beyond, your business, I know this for sure, your business needs paid ads because it's only getting more competitive on social media marketing and digital marketing in general. We're going to see a lot more players jump in here. And if you don't have your offers that are, that are proven and tested, you're going to end up in a few years saying, geez, I really need new customers and I'm having a fight with all these other competitors and I wish I would have done it when it was cheaper and easier to get in and, and test things so that you can be set up. So if you need any help, be sure to uh, comment below. I'm always happy to help. Um, if you ever need help on anything digital marketing related, be sure to comment and I'm happy to help. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up um, and also subscribe to the channel. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.